Hi, my name is Angus Ho with Daddy Dad, a part of the Ash Management Group. I want to show how you can budget as a full-time engineer, make real estate investments, and live an exceptional family life as a dad. So, come along with me in this journey of wealth. In today's episode of Tibet Do Us Part, I react to a couple who is one of the worst Gail has seen yet. In five years, if they keep spending like this, they will have $1.1 million of that. That's like being a millionaire in the negative direction. Gail shows up to give them financial advice, challenges the couple to make better decisions, and hopefully in the end, will come out debt free. I work in merchandising for a drugstore. I'm currently on mat leave. Before that, I was an assistant supervisor at a daycare. When we were living with my in-laws, um, I could say we were probably living like the life. <laughs> Newlyweds, no rent. I think we took advantage selfishly and didn't save enough. Things just kind of moved really quickly after that. We kind of did like everything. <laughs> Buying the house was definitely both of our dreams. You know, get the dog and the whole storybook, fairy tale act. That's what we want. We bought our house and everybody wanted to come see it, so we were entertaining like pretty much every weekend last year. And then this summer we had our son, so we've got a lot of people coming over again this year. We love to throw parties at home. We just love to entertain. Mike and I totally egg each other on. If that'll make you happy, then go ahead and buy them. I am the biggest sap you will ever meet from my wife. We want to make each other happy, but in the end, it's starting to make us miserable because um, it's not doing us any good. I really don't know where all the money goes, to be quite honest with you. I guess when I see each individual monthly bill, I sort of worry about it then, but as soon as it goes in that filing cabinet, it's pretty much gone out of my mind. It's like a black hole when we put our our bills into the file cabinet. I, I know all the money in the house. It's always a joke. We make it a joke, so we make it a joke, it's okay. I'm doing a horrible job with it. <laughs> if Gail could help us, it would be to give me a plan so that I wouldn't feel so lost every month when it came to our money and our, and our situation. Meet Mike and Sandy. This couple makes a combined income of $85,000 per year which, to be honest, is a pretty good amount of money. It's very unfortunate at the beginning that they don't know where their money is going. This is a constant problem for people who are in debt. Let's see if Gail is able to help this couple out. So what do you make as a family? About 85 grand a year. Okay. And what would you say your annual expenses are? We don't even know. <laughs> this is a significant part of your problem. Your fixed expenses total almost $4,000 a month, which means that you're spending about, I can't even believe this, 82% of your income on your fixed expenses. Okay, this is not food. This, there's no entertainment in this. This house is way too expensive for you guys. It's why you're running out of money. The other reason is that your spending is totally out of control. 74% of your money. This is a monthly average over six months. $650 a month at the department store. Seriously. Kid stuff, 330. That's above the department store. Family and gifts, 250. Charity, you people are very generous. You give $140 a month to charity, but you're giving away money you don't have because it's not your money. It's a credit card company's money. $174 a month on the dog? Are you sending him to university? <laughs> 82 plus 74 equals 100. Nuh uh. This is no thought given. Out comes a credit card, out comes a line of credit, everything. You've been paying your mortgage with your line of credit. So you're likely paying three times your original interest rate. You're freaking insane. You are, you're insane. You're spending $9,400 a month, more than you make every single month. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness. In two years, you've managed to rack up over $61,000 in debt. So this couple makes 
$4,800 per month after taxes, which is really good. Until, that is, you hear about the fixed expenses that total almost $4,000. Just spending a bit of time to look through it, it maintenance and improvement costs them $666. And insurance payments cost them $763. Those are some of their highest expenses that they should consider bringing down or paying off right away. Since they're spending 82% of their income on these fixed expenses, it only gives them $800 for everything else. After going through the variable expense, they need another $3,500 just to cover their living. Oh man. They are literally spending twice their earning, and that is why they racked up over $61,000 in consumer debt. Keep it up, and in five years, $1.1 million in debt. You are the worst I have come across so far. Holy smokes! Did you hear that? They will rack up $1.1 million in debt in 5 years if they keep this up. They are definitely the worst that I have heard of as well. They are spending way too much for sure. I have spent several sleepless nights thinking about you guys. You have created what looks like a perfect life. It's all built on sand because you have made not one mortgage payment from cash flow. Every mortgage payment has come off your line of credit. The debt is not the problem. The problem is you have no money to work with. This is one of the hardest things I have to do. Your challenge this week is to sell your home. Oh man, Gail is asking them to sell their house. That is one of the most drastic things I've ever heard. Pay off as much of your debt as you can. Move home so that you can recreate the down payment you'll need to start again. <laughs> we can't sell our house. <laughs> You're spending almost $1,200 a month more than you should be on housing. How are you planning to balance the budget then? I can get it. You can get an extra $1,200 a month net. Yes. And she has to be back at work full time. How are you going to do it? A disc jockey on the side. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we can't sell our house. <laughs> There's no if way. If that's what it's going to take, we then. Because when we bought the house, I stopped DJing and stayed You know what? Here's the thing, OK? <laughs> you get it in line, no problem. You need to have a budget that balances. And you can't stay on mat leave. He can't make up the difference. Yeah. There are not enough hours in a day. I want to see a plan that works. The couple is going to work twice as hard now to keep their house as a choice. However, they might realize that the work is not going to be worth the house because they're working so hard and not going to have any more time for the parties anymore. Do you still hate me? <laughs> Last week, if your eyes had been daggers, I'd have been dead. Possibly. <laughs> You've come around, Mike? A little bit. <laughs> do you have any money left in the jars? We, we do, do, actually. <laughs> okay, so like, how is that possible that I cut your spending by 84% and you still have money left over? We've already felt the difference with not having our cards with us. Like, I can't believe how much we don't spend when we don't have access to them. <laughs> Determined to keep their home, Sandy and Mike got a consolidation loan to take care of their credit card and line of credit debt. I love their story that once they don't have their cards with them, they didn't spend as much money anymore. Also, a consolidation loan is very smart because this can be a lower interest rate and they can pay off the high interest rates first with that money. So you bent the cards? <laughs> we bent the cards, yeah. It was the only way it was going to work. We had a patio and everything on the back. It was awesome. Yeah, well, that sounds like it was too easy. 
That being said, you were headed to $1.1 million. And assuming you do what you've said, that's not where you're going and you've consolidated your debt. But I try to get people debt free in three years. Are you going to do it? We know what we've done wrong and now we know that we need to change it and we're both very dedicated and I think our son is our greatest motivation so we have to work for him. It's, okay. it's all for him. Okay, so during the last month, what we've managed to do, we've managed to create a realistic budget for you. We created a debt repayment plan that although it is a little long, will get you out of the hole and we got you working together and recognizing that Kaka will happen. Mm -hmm. It is only a matter of time, okay? So, want to see what I have for you? <laughs> I close my eyes. I have a check for you for $4,000. Wow. <laughs> That's a big check. You've made progress, and I am pleased. You still have a way to go. Okay. However, if in three months you are on plan, I'll send you the extra $1,000. That's motivation. Okay. I also have for you six certificates you to go out for dinner. Yay! Pace yourself. <laughs> for eight years, seven years. <laughs> you can go out once a year. <laughs> well, it sucked seeing the four instead of the five, but after the bonus, uh, dinner nights out, and uh, the potential to get that extra thousand by staying on track for the next three months, which is even more incentive. So we'll get the five, don't worry about it. <laughs> I also like Gail's plan to give them $4,000, and then if they stay on track for three months, she'll send them the remaining $1,000. Mike now has to work three jobs to keep the house. I think that is going to be crazy tough and very taxing on their relationship. I wish they showed us what they did. I wonder if selling the house and downsizing would be a better option or if they committed to the three jobs. Either way, I love this episode and I'm sure they're doing just fine. I hope you learned just as much as I did from this episode. If you like what they did and how they did it, make sure you smash that like button. It only takes a few seconds and it really helps support my channel. If you are in a similar financial situation, make sure you take some of these tips away. Make sure you join the many others in the Daddy Dad Facebook group to ask your questions and learn from the success stories of others. By doing things correctly with great focus and discipline, I can guarantee you that you will reach your dream goal, whether that is living in the dream house of an acreage, travel the world and see France, become financially independent and retire early. I hope this reaction of Till That Do Us Part has given you some inspiration. Until next time, thanks for watching. If you like to hear more budgeting, engineering, or real estate tips, please leave a comment down below on what you want to hear. Smash that like button, subscribe button, and be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I post new videos every week on Mondays and Thursdays. From the Ash Management Group, this is Daddy Debt saving you money.